clean off the brush and I'm just going to come into some blue and some black. I'm going to make a dark color I'm using that pile I have there and I'm going to show you how easy it is to bounce in some trees. So I'm holding my brush again, two fingers. My thumb is resting on the back and here we go. I think I'll put the tree starting right here. And you can see I'm just bouncing it off the canvas. I'm going to come back for more paint. This will take pretty much paint because pretty soon I'll be going right through that white and I will pick up some of that white. So this is how I'm starting a nice evergreen tree. This of course can be done with any color. If I wanted to do green and another type of painting, I can just do it with green. You see what I'm doing is just bouncing the brush. So what's happening is the paint is coming off and sticking to the canvas. And great, this is great for beginners. It's a great way to get realistic looking trees. Much easier than um, using a fan brush, which we all of course got used to using. But this is really, it's a lot of fun. It makes you want to put more trees in your painting. You can also use it for leaves. So I'm going to bring this down into what's going to be some snow. And I may add a little more in the bottom there. Make it a little thicker as we get further down. There we go. So I'm going to do all the trees first and then I'll go back and we'll put some, some limbs in those trees. 